Hello, this is Lonnie with Rolling O Farm. You know, goats and sheep have the potential to make multiple times more profit than cattle or other livestock. But there are some tips and tricks of the trade that you need to be aware of to maximize that profit. Today, I'd like for us to go inside and talk about why timing when you sell is important and also talk about three different ways to market your goats and sheep and the pros and cons of each. Come along. So in this video, I want to talk about marketing goats and sheep for meat. I realize that there are a number of other niches in the goat and sheep industry that allow for profitability. There's hair production such as wool. There's also dairy production for milk and cheeses. And there's also uh, registered breeding stock. But by far, most goats and sheep in the United States are raised for meat production. That's the largest market. And it's also probably the easiest market to be profitable in. So let's talk about a few things that'll help you to be more successful in maximizing your profit when marketing goats and sheep. So first of all, age matters. If you're selling for meat, you want that animal to be under 12 months old. Under 12 months old, they're still considered a lamb or a kid. And that's the most desirable age group for meat production. Once they are over 12 months old, once their one-year-old teeth begin to come in, the price per pound is going to decrease because that animal is not as desirable for the meat market as it would be if it was a little bit younger. So it's generally advisable if you're going to sell for meat to sell before they're 12 months old. Secondly, when marketing for meat, size does matter. You want the animal to have a carcass weight that's heavy enough to produce some flesh. Generally, the sweet spot when selling lambs or kids for meat is going to be somewhere between 50 and 80 pounds. Any animal that's smaller than that is really not desirable to be butchered yet. It just doesn't have enough flesh on it. And so that will probably be sold as a feeder lamb or a feeder kid, which just simply means somebody's probably going to buy that and then grow it out a little bit heavier before it's butchered. Anything over 80 pounds, you're still going to get a good price for. As long as it's still under a year old, it'll still sell as a lamb or a kid. But over 80 pounds, your price per pound is probably going to drop just a little bit. So you'll still get paid for, well for it. But you also have to remember, you had to put more into it to get it up to that weight. So usually, it seems the sweet spot is going to be somewhere between 50 and 80 pounds. That's, that's usually four to eight months old for most goats and sheep. Thirdly, body conditioning also matters. At a lot of the major sales, they will grade lambs and kids according to their body conditioning. In other words, how much flesh they have on them. And usually the best scoring is going to be a prime or a number one. Think of these as your, your, your best conditioned, your fat lambs and kids. Secondly, you're going to have choice. Think of these as your mediums. This is a healthy, a good healthy animal that's got good flesh on it, but it's just, it's not just real fat. And then thirdly, you're going to have what they call goods. And goods are typically pretty thin. They don't have the, uh, they may be healthy animals, but they don't have a lot of flesh on them. And so recognizing that body conditioning score helps you to appreciate why some, even though they weigh the same weight, may sell for more than the others. Typically, a 50-pound prime animal is going to sell for more than a 50-pound good animal. And the reason being is that prime animal has a lot of meat on it, has a lot of flesh on it. And it may be shorter, it may be stockier, but it's got good muscle on it. It's going to cut out well when they go to butcher it. The 50-pound good is going to be more lanky. It's going to have more bone and not as much meat on it, so the carcass won't cut out as good. So that's the reason why even though you may have two lambs that weigh exactly the same weight, one has a good body conditioning, has good flesh on it, and the other is kind of bony, 
the one with the good flesh will sell better because it has more meat on it that's able to be cut out and used. So one thing that may vary a little bit in the goat and sheep meat market as compared to the cattle meat market is that prices can fluctuate greatly during the course of the year. Demand for goat and sheep meat is very often tied to certain holidays, such as Easter or Christmas or Ramadan or Eid. And because of that, prices are going to be a lot higher at certain times of the year than at other times of the year. And you need to know when prices are going to be high and when prices are going to be low because they can fluctuate so greatly. Now, one of the ways that you can kind of get an idea of when prices are going to be higher and when prices are going to be lower as far as general trends go is to follow market reports. The USDA publishes market reports for a number of the larger sales in the U.S., uh, New Holland, Pennsylvania, San Angelo, Texas, Columbia, Tennessee, Bowling Green, Kentucky. I think the USDA publishes uh, market reports for all of those sales and others as well. Now, I will say this. Market reports can be kind of tricky to read because some market reports, they report the price per head. Others report it price per pound. And you would think by looking, that would be clear on the market report, but it's not always clear on the market report. Uh, some sales actually do goats price per head and sheep price per pound. And, and I don't know why that's why they would do that. Uh, also, they don't always give you the full reason for why prices may be why they are. You may look at a group of 50 pound lambs that sold for this amount and you may think, all right, well, meat prices are really high. Well, maybe that particular group came in and there was something exceptionally good about them as far as their color or something like that. And somebody bought them for breeding stock and paid more than they normally would for meat prices. So it's difficult to get a real accurate reading of what meat prices may be doing based upon the market reports, but you can usually see some trends. You can get some ideas of when are prices typically higher and when are prices typically lower. Now, it, here's a chart of the price fluctuation over the course of 2021 from the Columbia Livestock Auction in Columbia, Tennessee. And this is for 50 to 60 pound hair breed lambs, prime and choice. And so that's gonna be the better end uh, lambs, 50 to 60 pounds. And if you notice on here, you can see that there's quite a bit of difference in the low price for the year and the high price for the year. If you look in June, if you were to take lambs in in June, you would have got $2.23 a pound on a 50 to 60 pound prime lamb. Now that's not bad, but that was the low for the year. Look at December. In December, if you took that same lamb in, you would have got $4.22, $2 a pound more by bringing it in in December. That's almost twice as much. And so you can see how important it is that you have some idea of when prices are going to be higher. That uh, the same for the kids, goats. If you look uh, on this chart, I have, um, this is 50 to 60 pound kids on the better end. And I think the low for the year was in September at uh, two, you know, and I'm sorry, in August at 267. So if you took in a 50 pound kid in August, you would have got paid 267 a pound for it. If you took that same kid in in December, you would have got 423 a pound. And so pretty significant difference there. So the time of year makes a big difference. So generally speaking, what you have is prices are going to be lower in the summertime, higher in the wintertime. And a lot of that has to do with the Christmas and Easter holidays, but it has other factors as, uh, tie into that as well. But generally speaking, prices are going to be lowest in June, July, and August, and they're going to be highest in December, January, and February. And so that's just the general rule of thumb, but you can look at market reports and get some idea of the trend that takes place there. Now, I've been raising goats and sheep for more than 25 years, and during that 25 year period, the general trend has always been prices have increased from year to year. Now, there have been a few exceptions in the last 25 years to that, and they had to do with droughts out west, and there's a lot of goats and sheep raised out in uh, West Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. And when they have a severe drought and there's not enough for them to eat, and they sell off a lot of them, it can flood the market, 
And uh, two times in the last 25 years, while I've been raising goats and sheep, the market has uh, been flooded from farmers selling off because of a drought and prices would drop. In the next year, prices always bounced back and actually uh, increased quite a bit more because of that. So the general trend for the last 25 years, at least, for the goat and sheep market has been an upward trajectory. I wanted to try to show you a chart of that, at least for the last decade or so. Uh, I was using Columbia, Tennessee's market reports, and they only have records back that go, uh, go back for the last five years. But you can still see the trend in this. For instance, uh, for a 50 pound, 50 to 60 pound prime lamb in 2018, the uh, lowest price was August uh, for $1.36 a pound. In January, that same lamb would have brought two thirty eight a pound. And that was really good back in 2018. That was uh, some of the highest prices we had seen up to that point. But then compare that with like 2021, where the low price was 263. So the low price in 2021 was higher than the high price in 2018. And the high price, or at least the January price in 2021 was, was 339. And so you can see how the, the prices have continued to increase. In 2022, that price was 424. And so uh, the high price. And so this just chart kind of just shows you the high and low prices over the last five years. Same for the goats. You see that back in 2018, the high price in January two uh, the, in January was 275. Well, for 2022, the high price was 475, so two dollars more a pound. So you see over the last five years how how much things have increased with that. So I just noticed how long that I've let this video run on. So I think that I'll save the tips for how to market your lambs and kids for a future video. But let me say in summary that the best way to maximize your profit when raising goats and sheep for meat is to do four things. Number one, generally it's best to sell before they're a year old. That's when they're most desirable for meat. Number two, Find the sweet spot for the market that you're targeting of what's the best weight to sell them, where they're not too small and not too big. Generally speaking, that's going to be 50 to 80 pounds, but it may vary depending on the market that you're targeting. Uh, number three, have them in good body condition. That, that's going to make them more attractive for me. Number four, sell when prices are high. And generally, that's going to be in the winter and early spring. So I hope this will help you to maximize your profit. If you're looking for breeding stock, whether it's a starter herd or flock or additional stock to what you already have, give me a call. See what I have available. You can also check out our website, rollingofarm.com, and we try to keep that current so that whatever we have available is posted on there. I do appreciate you watching the videos, and as always, happy farming.